So whose job is it to fix us and fix our marriage after the affair? I believed for a long time that it was my husband's job. He broke me. He broke our marriage. He needs to fix it. Maybe that's kind of where you are right now, too. I want to spend the rest of this video talking about how that is not a healthy mindset and why and how we can think differently to get better results. So stay tuned. I went probably years, um, at least until our first separation, believing in my mind that he broke us, he needs to fix us. I would sit in counseling sessions, looking at the counselor and looking at him and then looking at the counselor going, all right, come on, fix this. I'm a puddle on the floor. You can't possibly expect me to do anything right now because you broke us. And I know a lot of that was coming from a place of anger and resentment for the fact that I was even in that situation to begin with. All of us wish we were not in that particular situation. But I spent a really long time doing that. And what happened because of that mindset was I felt perpetually hopeless, perpetually frustrated because he wasn't, my husband wasn't meeting my expectations of you know, fix it. You know, I, I mean, I had expectations. He wasn't meeting them. So I was constantly disappointed and um, I was unhappy and I started to get that feeling. And I'm sure you have too, of, is this going to be my life? Is this going to be forever? Because it was taking forever to heal. Why wasn't I healing? You know, he wasn't, he wasn't working hard enough. He wasn't doing enough. He wasn't um, saying the right things to me like he's supposed to. And I mean, it was just a constant battle in my heart and in my mind because he was the one who was supposed to do it and he wasn't living up to that expectation. When we separated the first time, which was about a year and a half, give or take, from when I found out um, about the affair. Well, no, that's not actually 11, 12. That was two and a half years now that I did the calculation. See, time flies, doesn't it? It was two and a half years after I found out about the affair. Um, we. Uh, I, I had another D-Day and we separated. And having that space, I guess, I realized that I had been spending so much time waiting on him to fix me and fix the marriage. I wasn't doing anything to heal myself. I was putting everything onto him. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized what I was doing, which made no sense. I was literally handing myself broken and bleeding to the person who broke me and hurt me and expecting him to fix it. So I stepped back and I looked at that and said, well, that makes no sense. And then I realized also when I'm doing this, giving it all to him, I'm literally handing him the only power I have in this situation. The only power I have is the power over myself. That's really the only power we have in any given situation is how well we take care of ourselves and how we heal ourselves. So I was literally giving him all of my power and I was giving him, you know, my broken self, expecting him to fix it. So I had no power left and that's why I felt so hopeless and that's why I felt so drained all the time is that my energy wasn't being poured into me. It was being poured into him and worrying about him and what he's doing and what he's not doing and, and how he's not living up to my expectations. All of my energy was being sent somewhere else. How in the world was I supposed to heal when all of my energy was being poured into another person? So I started doing the opposite of what I, I was looking at. Okay, this isn't working. So I'm going to do the opposite of what's not working and see if that works. And you know what? It's magic. It did. And here's how I did this. I started out by realizing the real power I have in this situation is the power I have over me. And so here are the steps I took to really focus on my own healing. I started out by saying, this is my job. This is my responsibility. 
I'm the one who can control if I go to counseling, the support system I lean on, um, wh what am I doing? Am I journaling? Am I praying? Wh what things work for me to help me be whole and healthy again? So I did that number one. Number two is I really took a deep look in the mirror. Instead of blaming absolutely everything on him, I actually took the time needed to step back and see the role I had in the marriage before the affair. Now, don't misunderstand me. I think I've said this a million times. We are not at fault for the affair, period. I don't care how horrible the marriage was before the affair. There's no excuse. However, if we're working towards building a better marriage, we have to acknowledge what wasn't working and the role we had in that. And we have to make those changes. I have power over that too. So I started working on me and, and you know what, we were separated at the time. So if we were headed toward divorce, I certainly wanted my next relationship to be better. Whatever relationship I'm in, whether I'm in my own marriage or I move on to a different relationship, I wanted it to be better. So I looked at me, what role did I play? And those are the types of things that we are really responsible for. None of the things I just said my husband could have done for me. He couldn't have looked at what I did in the past and said, okay, I'm going to fix that for you. He couldn't have, you know, given me all the tools I needed to heal myself and make me do it. There was nothing he could have done to fix me. That was all within my power. So I started doing it. Now, yes, to answer the question spinning in your head, our husband has a role to play when it comes to our healing. He can't fix it, but he has a role to play. And here's his role. Number one, he is the only one who can provide safety in our marriage right now. He's the one who took the safety away. He's the one who left the front door wide open and let the pain come in. He has to create a safe environment. He's the only one who can provide it because he is the reason we feel unsafe. Like he's the reason. So if he's going to stay in the equation, if he's going to stay in the marriage with us and we're going to work on our relationship, he's the only one who can put that back. And here are some things he can do to do that. Complete transparency. Like he gives us um, the uh, passcodes to the phone. He helps us um, know where he is. He's completely transparent about where he's going, who he's with, what he's doing. And if, if the affair partner contacts him at all, he immediately tells us like, it's not like he even thinks about it or figures out how to hide it. He is such an open book that goes a million miles to helping us feel safe. Also to help us feel safe, he is intentionally working on himself. So while we're over here healing ourselves, he's over there healing himself. And he is open about the fact that he's doing that. Now we don't need to know the private things he talks about in counseling or things like that. But just knowing he's going and knowing that he is, he is taking the initiative. He's making the appointments. He's doing these things. That's how he helps us feel safe. Those are the kinds of things that he can do. But you notice those are things about him. So, so when it comes to the role he plays, it's all about him inside of his boundaries. If you have not listened to my boundaries videos, do that. That's his responsibility. I am not his responsibility. He is his responsibility. So he has his role to play. I have my role to play. And that's how I heal. That's how I do the things that I need to do to become whole and healthy again. And that's how our marriage heals. When he works on him and I work on me. But this entire concept of you broke me, you broke our marriage, you need to fix our marriage. That is not a way to a healthy marriage. It's not a way to true healing. The only person who can heal us is us. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to make a choice to heal. Putting that entire responsibility on the shoulders of our husband is going to forever disappoint us. We will never heal and we will never build the marriage we want. We have to understand the roles we play and the importance of it. So can he fix you? 
No, he cannot. Is it his responsibility to fix you? No, it is not. It's his responsibility to fix himself. It's his responsibility to do his part in the marriage and to provide safety so you can heal. I hope that makes sense. When that light bulb went off with me, it was like the whole world opened up. And I cannot express to you enough what a life-changing experience it was to take my broken pieces back and to be responsible for putting them back together. And I really hope that you find that experience as well. And I hope that this settles in and a light bulb might go off for you too. If you're looking for a really great uh, opportunity for support, I invite you to join my private Facebook group. That link is below. And we talk about stuff like this all the time. Believe me, this is one of the most popular posts. You know, he's not doing his part. He's not helping to fix me. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. And I think we just need to redirect who's responsible for what. So join our Facebook group and you'll see how that conversation is going. That link is below. I also have some great free resources I'd love for you to take an opportunity to. Uh, one's a read, one's a great guide you can read, and the other's a video you can watch. And it's packed full of some great information. I hope you take the time uh, to check those out. I created those just for you. In the meantime, just keep, keep remembering your boundaries. Keep remembering what you're responsible for and what he's responsible for. Okay? He cannot fix it, but you can. You really can. We got this.